long-term climate strategy submitted to the United Nations claims they will encourage green infrastructure in northern and remote Indigenous communities, while ensuring that any consultations on projects must respect the constitutional, legal, and international obligations to Indigenous peoples. In the wake of federal approvals of the Site C Dam and the major LNG project that encroach on Indigenous rights and territories, is this the depth of commitment we can expect Indigenous rights from this government? Here, here, here. here. Honourable Minister of Environment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As the member opposite well knows, our government is committed to uh, the, our, our in, uh, obligations under the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and rebuilding our relationship with Indigenous Peoples. That is why with every project that the Canadian Environmental Assessment Agency undergoes a review, we meet with Indigenous groups. We listen to their concerns, we accommodate them. With the Pacific Northwest Project, we have the first ever Indigenous Environmental Monitoring Committee with the Indigenous groups that are impacted by the project.